Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. As you guys can see on the bottom right, we have double weapon EXP activated. It is currently Saturday. So we have two, basically two days left of the beta and they've go ahead and enabled the double weapon EXP and we're going to go ahead and play some. I am at level 29. I'm one level off the end, so I don't quite have the Tonto SMG, which you guys can see right here at level 30. You get the Tonto SMG and you get the Bug Smasher weapon, which I am not going to be using. I have everything that I, I want and kind of need in my classes so i'm not gonna go ahead and like change it or anything they've also added i believe some maps so they've brought back scud because it wasn't originally in the mosh pit playlist with the new update for the new weekend and they brought babylon a brand new map i've played a lot of it it's basically like shipment uh and but the spawns are even more horrendous and then we have face off with still the new maps but this one has kill order and team deathmatch rather than kill uh team deathmatch and kill confirmed if we go to the core mosh pit it still has kill order hardpoint domination and tdm so we're gonna go ahead and just jump straight into this because if I'm being honest, this is the way better playlist. I'm sorry. Face off is cool for a little bit, but overall, I am preferring to play these maps. And we're going to see if we can get the brand new map. If you guys do like these videos, make sure you subscribe, upload as much as I can. Today is my first attempt at a double upload. I uploaded Wukong earlier today, so you guys can go ahead and make sure you check that out. I'm trying to get Wukong as fast as I can done. I uh, have another Wukong video up tomorrow, as well as some more Black Ops 6. And I'm hoping to get one more Black Ops 6 video done for Monday. I'll have to record an extra one tomorrow or today and so i can just power this out i can just make sure that i get you guys as much footage as i can because i didn't get you guys like, almost any footage last week i've also added a new wild card in the form of gunfighter so you can put three extra attachments on your weapon over perk greed and then they also have added the as well as the tonto they have a new dmr they've added some other stuff the field upgrade which lets you change uh into an ally for a short duration we have a new tactical we have the combat x lethal and we have some other things they've also nerfed the jackal which i I'm very happy about because I've seen far less of the Jackal now. I actually might use the nerfed Jackal just because I haven't tried it since the nerf. I literally just use the, the MP5, the C9. Is it still good? Yeah, it's still good, but I don't think it's not like the go-to gun that you must have at all times. They also have a bunch of new perks as well. Nin so we have Ninja, Sca Ninja and Scavenger. I'll go through it uh, better after this game, but we have like Ninja, we have Scavenger, we have a bunch of like extra choices i'm gonna try the jackal because yeah the jackal was level 23 after my first weekend of playing and then it, the rest of the weekend it's just you know i've been using a little bit of everything every gun i have is between level like 20 and 30 so we're gonna see how this goes Yeah, I cannot get anything going on this, though. I am just... I don't know if I'm just having a bad game. I don't know. But I, I am sprinting as soon as someone peeks. When there's no one there, I'm, like, slow walking. I'm just getting timing, and I'm playing like shit. Overall, I do like this map. I it's like shipment. This doesn't sound stupid. It's shipment with extra steps. The one thing they can fix is in this back corner by A. The spawns are awful. Spawns in some of these in that corner back there. It's that corner specifically where everyone's hitting clips. No one is hitting clips in like any other part of the map really. I may have gone 36 and 25, but holy shit, I am awful. I don't. I can't aim for shit. Despite my piece of trash performance you i definitely can feel that the jackal got nerfed really bad like it, it was consistently like oh good shot um it was consistently like sitting there two tapping or not two tapping sorry like three or four tapping at medium to long range which is kind of crazy i have changed some attachments on it now with my a jackal only user absolutely fucking not i think the jackal is actually one of my lowest used primaries i think it was 26 I use this at level See, 34, 33, 31, 34. Like, I use f four weapons, really. I don't really snipe that much. I might buy sniping again. But, yeah, the Jackal, in terms of, like, all the big primaries everybody's using, it's my least used by quite a margin. But I just definitely feel like I'm not... The gun isn't as good as it was. It's still good. 
but it definitely wasn't as good. Here, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show everything off. We, there we got in the second weekend. We have the decoy grenade now. We also have the combat axe. We have sleeper agent field upgrade, so you can turn into uh, someone on the other team for a short period of time, but when you shoot on radar and you like throw a grenade next to a trophy, that will still reveal like who you, who you are. In terms of primaries, we got the Tonto, which is at level 30, which I do want to use. I'll definitely be making a video on that tomorrow. We also got the DM-10, which is the new marksman rifle up there with the SWAT. I'm just gonna sit here in the perk green menu and kind of show everything that we have that's brand new so you guys can see it. But in the perk one slot, we have got scavenger. Actually, I'll just do it this way. In perk one slot, we have a couple new additions. We have scavenger, ninja, and tack mask. So this category is actually stacked. I mean, scavenger, ninja, tack mask, flak jacket, and ghost all in the same slot. It's gonna really make it kind of difficult, especially if you want to get some specialties, which you don't have to get, but it's definitely recommended. In the perk two slot, we have forward intel and fast hands. I think I think the blue category for recon just is the most lackluster in, in the moment. And you're gonna see why. Fast hands is definitely just gonna be really, really good. I would rather use fast hands than dispatcher. And then in perk three, we've got gearhead. Again, I like perk two and three are definitely just incredibly lackluster in comparison to one. Perk one is just, this category is so sad. We also have two new score streaks. We have the interceptors, which is like the air patrol from cold war. And then we have the classic chopper gun. I'm somebody who does, I don't want my streaks to take up my time getting kills. I'd rather just go get the kills myself. So I'm probably just going to run scout pulse UAV. I'm actually thinking about running interceptors just because the watchdog Hilo is good. Really like genuinely, I, it's not the best. It's definitely not the worst, but interceptors are probably going to be something I go to. I saw something on Reddit. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Hold on. And I see this, I saw this post on the black myth Wukong Reddit, and I'm going to put a picture of it on the screen. This is what it says. It's a picture of one of the semi-open doors that you go to for the secret area. And it says, what's behind these doors? An epic boss, an epic boss fight, a powerful new weapon, feminist propaganda. I don't know why they felt they need to put that. It's just fucking stupid. I'll never know because there's an invisible wall blocking you from passing through this massive opening. Who thought putting an invisible barricade in an open door was a good idea? That's the game design equivalent of putting extra lives in a bottle labeled poison extra fatal or hiding an NPC in a bright, that you need to save in a bright red barrel. Here's my thing. Like, yes, granted, they could have closed the door and had them open it, but... If you just do a vague bit of looking or exploring in the area, you'll find uh, secret quests. Like for the for the first one, the first area, I don't remember what it is. I think the first area is the the three big bells that you hit, the forest, and then the second one is uh, there's a giant pig that you go to. Um, you need to sober him up, and then you need to you need to sober him up by a sobering stone, and then I forget what the other pieces that you need to do. You need to sober him up, and then go and do his quest line. He'll go to go kill the first prince of the sands, or whatever his name is, the giant rat. Going back, fighting him, he unlocks the area. Boom! You have access to the secret area, and you do that part, and it's done. So why don't they just try and do that a bit of exploring? I don't know. Sniping is just too slow for for me. Now I could just get better and not be two and seven, but I, I just, I've come to accept that, like, I am just, this shit is slow as fuck to me, like, this ADS speed is ridiculous, I'm getting killed, like, I'm ADSing before they shoot, and if they hit every bullet, I just, I don't even get an opportunity to shoot, I'm literally two and ten, I can feel my body getting hot because I'm getting pissed, because this is fucking ridiculous, like, I have to aim like that for, it's just ridiculous, I don't know, call it a skill issue, call it a skill issue, I just suck, I guess, I'm just a bad sniper, I don't fucking know, like, what are you doing, man, like, you're crouching and just waiting on the corner. Like, this game, it gives you everything you need to play fast, to move around. And you still choose to just fucking sit there. Like, what the fuck? That's a oh my god, bro. I went 8 and 18. I can't snipe. I don't know what it is. If anyone has any sniping tips. I was a pretty fucking solid sniper in Modern Warfare 3. I wasn't the best I by any stretch of my I was pretty fucking just... Anyone's got any tips on sniping in this game other than get good, please give them to me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, other than maybe like my positioning is just dog shit, or maybe I'm just a bad player with a sniper rifle. I don't know, but please. This is the build I have. I have reinforced barrel, extended mag one, assault grip, heavy stock, and I have the overpressured rounds. I don't know if like I need to be doing anything different. Is that is having is having a different laser gonna help me? Like instead of this, do I run steady aim laser? I genuinely have no fucking clue. Like my guy comes out of the scope and he feels the need to like grab this gun and do this. He shoots it and goes. Like, just, just pull the fucking bolt back. I know the gun's heavy. Pull the bolt back, though. Nope, I'm... playing one more. I... God, I fucking hate the way people play this game sometimes. The fact I get a vision pulse of where people are when I spawn is kind of crazy with this. I literally haven't gone angry on the beta, all, like, the entire, like, out of the last two weekends it's been available, but I'm...
God, I'm horrible. Is that fucker gonna- Dude, what? I'm, I don't care if that's through a fucking- Fucking material. It's a goddamn chair! I shouldn't have to hit him that many fucking times. That spawn is awful. What the fuck? Overall, my thoughts, I really do like the game. I really do. I like, I don't like the way people play it. Like, even the sniping. I'm a horrible sniper. Absolutely fucking atrocious sniper. But, I still like sniping. It's just the way people play the game, it fucking pisses me off because I suck. Am I gonna be doing the camo grind? Absolutely. I'm gonna be doing the war, I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'll do the war zone camo grind, but I'll definitely be doing multiplayer camo grind and the zombies camo grind. I don't really play war zone. I've played like six games, I think, maybe 10 games in my entire life of war zone. So, if it's like really easy or really intuitive with the system, then I'll play, but I don't see me playing farther than that. I'll have final thoughts probably tomorrow in my tomorrow's video and what I'm hoping they change and what they keep and stuff like that. But overall, the game is just, I fucking enjoyed it. I can't say really say anything else. Packet burst is your worst enemy. Fuck that shit. <laughs>